this Christmas, obviously, is a very special Christmas, and the White House is closed to the public. That's right. And some of our viewers wrote in and said, you ask us to live a normal life, mm -hmm. and you close the White House to the public. Well, we just have to be responsible for the safety of everybody that lives here and works here, and um, including the press. So it's just a trying to balance what always is traditional, which are the Christmas tours of the White House, with the reality of what happened on yeah, September 11th. The, the White House is a target. Mm -hmm. yeah. So therefore, it's hard to have normalcy when you know the tar White House is a target. Mm -hmm. And we urge the Secret Service to be uh, more open-minded. But they convince us that the security risk is such that we mm -hmm. cannot jeopardize the lives of others. Yeah. This is your Christmas card. That's right. Let me show you the Christmas Thank card. You. Because I know that you planned the Christmas card earlier. The only thing I changed after September 11th was the Bible verse. And it says, Thy face, Lord, do I seek. I believe that I shall see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. And that's what I think happened on September 11th. And we saw a terrible um, deed, but we also saw so much good and so many people who sacrificed and saved other people. You know, when I, I first started commenting about this new war, I reminded people that the farther we get away from September the 11th, yeah. the human mind is such that they'll want to forget the terror and the tragedy. They'll want to move on. But I'm not moving on because I understand that this is a, um, uh, we're in a fight for civilization itself. You know, America may tire of a president that is insistent that we rout out terror, but I know this is the right thing to do. It is the, it's the calling of our time. I, it may sound corny to you, but it is. And we must succeed in order for us to realize the freedoms that we have taken for granted up to now. Somebody said, well, you know, uh, gosh, God put you here. I, I don't believe God picked who was going to be the president. I do believe that in God we can find great strength and great solace and great comfort. And I feel the prayers of the American people. People say, how do you know that? Well, it's, it's hard to define faith, but I feel it. People just have to take my word for it. You're nodding, Mrs. Bush. That's right. People come up everywhere and tell us they're praying for us, and they're praying for our country. And um, we really see that. We see it all over our country. The, um, it's amazing since September 11th how people no longer take for granted how great our country is and, and how appreciative we all are and thankful we all are to be Americans. I want uh, the people to know that there's a lot of prayer and that there's a good and gracious God that loves them. And that for those serving overseas, they're serving a noble and just cause. And for those who died on September 11th, we won't forget their deaths. And uh, that out of evil will come good. And part of the good is the message of the holiday season. I also hope the American people use this as an opportunity to give generously to people in need.